Okay, dah dapat 12,000 ni from the first two purchases uh, transactions, you, we can move forward uh, to the next or to the last uh, purchases transaction. Same, sama juga the batch number and also the master account also, you don't have to change because it is still under the, uh, you know, the same transaction, the same batches, right? Uh, what you need to do is now your button sekarang ni berada di uh, date okay supposedly your 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 cursor berada di date uh, change according to the questions which is 4 January and the accounts numbers then you have to select the bank okay and enter in order to make the bank's name appear here and tekan button enter until the credit column Okay, and key in the 15,000 here. Ignore the 1,000 separator here. Okay, tekan button enter. And because you now currently at the save button. And click button enter again in order to save them. Right. So now uh, we have done the uh, purchases transactions. So we move forward to the uh, sales transactions. Okay, so tadi saya dah bagi tahu tipsnya. If the transaction is related to the sales, make sales as the master account. So now we have to change the master account as well as the batch number lah. Sebab the batch number is no longer uh, for the purchases journal. Tapi sebab kita sekarang berada di uh, sales transaction. So we have to change the purchases journal ni kepada sales journal punya batch. Right, so we have to change the master account. So move your cursor or gerakkan menggunakan your arrow button. Okay, and delete. Guna button delete in order to uh, choose the next one. Tekan button enter to appear the account listing. So now we make sales as the our master account. And tekan enter again your cursor berada di batch number. Tekan enter to show the batch listing and choose sales channel. Sebab we are currently doing about the sales. Okay, batch number 1 selected. Enter and you will see the batch title here will be changed accordingly. Now, the cursor berada di period. Jangan ubah because it is still under the January 2020. Tekan enter. Cursor berada di date. Okay, and key in accordingly. Okay, 0501 and the account number here. Okay, so the general entry for these three transactions adalah debit bank and credit the sales sama ketiga-tiga ni debit bank credit sales debit bank credit sales uh, why you debit the bank because you receive money from the customer right because you make some sales and you get money right so that is why you debit the bank um right and you debit the bank and credit the sales right so debit the bank so tadi kita dah cakap dah kita buat sales as our master account. So, we don't want to do sales anymore. Kita tak nak buat sales. Sebab itu kita jadikan sales sebagai our master account. So, left for the bank. So, sama juga macam tadi. So, it is left for the bank only for us to do, for us to complete the transactions. So, there is why for the account number, you have to select the bank as well. Bank account. And tekan enter in order to make the bank's name appear here. Right, and you will see sekarang ni, on the credit column pula block for you because the credit column is belongs to the 5000 5000 refers to the sales okay memang pun kalau sales memang perlu berada di credit side okay tak boleh berada di debit if the sales berada di debit column um itu adalah sales return ataupun return inwards so kalau the sales return ataupun return inwards sama juga macam tadi uh, I have explained where the sales return or return inwards they have their own account so that is why um, it will be on the debit column right but now we are currently doing sales so sales should be on the credit column mesti wajib berunah berada di credit sebab itu dia tidak boleh berada di debit Okay, sebab itu credit ini belongs to the master account ini which refers to the sales. Sebab itu, we are currently doing bank. Bank ini tidak boleh dikreditkan bila berlakunya sales. Sebab itu, dia tolong block. So, tak payah fikir panjang uh, since only the debit uh, kosong dekat sini. I mean, yang boleh boleh key in. So, why not? Kita gerakkan je our cursor uh, until the debit column. Okay, tekan enter, enter, enter. 
Nanti dia debit column and you key in 2500 here. You enter again, ignore the 1000 separator yang tadi. You enter again until uh, it is appeared in the credit column which uh, for the credit column tadi kita dah bagi tahu refers to the uh, master account ni which means uh, sales. Okay and now ke seberada di sales you can click button you can press enter button lah again. So you don't have to change the batch number and also the master account lah sebabnya uh, untuk uh, next transaction, next two transaction is still under the uh, sales. Okay, what you need to change adalah the date. Okay. Uh, masih lagi bank. Because you receive money from the customer, right? Okay, gerak your cursor until the debit column and you enter 13,200 here. Ignore the 1,000 separator, enter until the credit figure appeared and save. Okay, fast forward. Saya key in the next one, 7 hari bulan 1. Still bank. Okay, until the debit column 19,500. Okay, and save button. Right, okay. 